Namaste friends, I'm John Barker. This is the Skull and Mortar Kitchen and today we are doing steak chimichurri. So I was fortunate enough to get these prime steaks from Costco at a pretty decent price. Look at these things, man. The marbling on here, these things are beautiful. This one right here is not quite as impressive, but these two especially banging, if you will, bussing as the kids say. We're gonna use some of the God Save the Queen, available at skullandmortar.com. Perfect for any steak rub. Make sure that you hit this bad boy all around. You can use a little uh, olive oil, some spray oil if you want as a minder, but, because uh, the pieces are pretty big, they're pretty thick, uh, as your, uh, they are pretty thick, much like your mother. No offense, she's a good looking lady. Tell her I said hi. We're just gonna get that all over there, look at that. Hell yeah. Now, something I don't typically do that we are gonna do this time, is I'm also gonna use another seasoning that some of you may be familiar with. I don't actually know how to pronounce this. I think it's tahini. It might not be. If it's not, you know, my bad. But we're just gonna give it a light sprinkling. We don't wanna be too much, but we do kinda wanna add some Latin flavors into this bad boy. And that's it, we're just gonna hit all of our sides, give it a good dusting, just a light dusting though. Again, we want just a hint of some of those, uh, some of that flavor profile in there. That's it, my friends, we have officially rubbed our meat. Again, guys, we've been doing this for over a year now, don't be a pervert. Now, we're gonna get these on the smoker, I'm gonna throw some internal probes on them, we're gonna let it run, for uh, at about 250 degrees just until they reach an internal temperature of 145. We're just gonna slide our meter probes right into the middle of these steaks so we can monitor the temperature. I love the meter probes. I got the uh, link to them down in my description. And in full transparency, those links do help us out. Again, we have our smoker set at 250 degrees. If you watched my video last week, you see what I'm cooking over there. Trying to do a little multitasking, you know what I mean? So cool, we'll check on that. I don't know how long it's gonna take. I wouldn't imagine more than just an hour and a half or so and then we'll check back. All right guys, before we move on to how to make the chimichurri, all right? I already get that I'm cooking these steaks at 145 and some dude is gonna be like, nah, you could overcook the steak. Well, I, okay, whatever, dude. You can just eat yours raw for all I care. I'm just, I like mine medium, so that's how I'm gonna cook it. I, whatever, dude, I don't really, it, it doesn't matter, okay? Cook it however you want it. Burn it, eat it raw, nobody cares. All right, how I make chimichurri. Now, let me show you. So first and foremost, normally I would use a little bit of oregano, but the store didn't have any. So I decided to go with a more mint based. So we're gonna do a mint chimichurri. It's gonna be fire, guys. Let me show you how we do it. All right, guys, so the most important thing when it comes to chimichurri is your parsley game, guys. We're gonna break off these excess shell uh, stems right here, and we're just gonna put a whole thing of parsley right down in the food processor. Now you do have the option of not using a food processor. You can hand chop it if you want to. That's a whole lot of work that I don't feel like doing. Actually, let's just get the leaves, get the whole stem out of here. Guys, now I'm just gonna hit this with a little lemon zest. And finally, just a hint of lemon juice. Not even a whole lemon's worth. We're just gonna squeeze, give it a little half squeeze. Now we're gonna put a couple cloves of garlic in there as well. Again, you can alter any of this to your liking. Put as much or as little garlic as you want. Garlic is pretty important to the overall presentation of this dish. So I would recommend throwing a good amount in there. I'm gonna throw about three cloves of garlic in here because what I'm doing here isn't uh, too insane. Guys, then we're gonna flake some red peppers in there. Crush red peppers, if you will. We're gonna take a little bit of the God Save the Queen. I'm telling you guys, you can literally use it for everything. It's gonna give you some good salt and pepper. It's also gonna give you a little more garlic in there too. So you don't have to go over the top with your fresh cloves of garlic. 
And then finally, we're gonna put about a quarter cup of olive oil right inside here. All right guys, we got it processed down pretty well. So from here on out, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit it with a splash of red wine vinegar. I'm gonna say maybe a uh, tablespoon at the most. Boom, just give it a little splash. It's gonna add some tart to it. And this here is exactly the consistency I'm looking for. You can go thicker, you can go lighter. It's really up to you, but I like a nice thick chimichurri. Guys, so we have our steaks on my finest dinnerware. We've got them up to temperature, they're at a medium. Uh, right now, so we're gonna throw them back on the smoker. We're gonna get a little sear action on them real quick just to finish up that crust. We got our Char Griller Gravity 980 all the way up to 550 degrees. That's crazy. Guys, these steaks are looking killer. Let's go ahead and get them sliced up. Get them ready for this chimichurri sauce. And you know, we gotta hit it with just a smidge of that chimichurri. All right, get a piece of the steak. Oh, dang. Get a bite. Oh my God. What do you think of that, man? Juicy. What do you give that steak? 9.5. 9.5 out of 10? That's pretty good. All right, so what do you think of the chimichurri? With the steak a 10. It you takes the steak from a 9.5 to a 10? Yeah. There you go. Sounds like the perfect chimichurri sauce to me. Sounds like a slam dunk to me. A little bit of Kobe. It's not hard to take an awesome steak and elevate it with a little bit of chimichurri. The chimichurri is easy. If you try this recipe, let me know what you thought in the bottom. Uh, other than that, you know, just say hi, whatever. Tell me I suck. What? It doesn't really matter. Just leave something in the comments so the algorithm picks it up, right? Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Holler at your boy, skullandmortar.com. We will be back next week with what? Another video. Heck yeah.